that's that's really interesting. I don't know if controversial is that, but um, it's a song that Glenn Hughes sang on uh, Stormbringer. Um, but I brought in most of the music, um, which is based around. Uh, Richie and I both love traffic. Uh, Stevie Win- uh, Winwood and Dave Mason uh, back in the day. Um, and I was working on what I thought would be like a cool kind of traffic style song. And, and Glenn went, oh, I like that. And uh, so I ended up writing the lyric for Glenn. Glenn wrote the lyric for the, uh, for the chorus. And John Lord on the original wrote a beautiful synthesizer bridge. Um, in the middle of it, which we didn't utilize on this, uh, on this our arrangement, um, but Glenn does a marvelous job on it. And once again, there's no, uh, it's it's just respect. I love the song, and it's I, I do it in A. Glenn sings it in D. Um, I wanted more of an intimate aspect. We have an un uh, an unplugged mix of it, you know, which hopefully we'll see the light of day sometime, um, which is you know very naked and and uh, revealing. Uh, but I wanted, I could always hear some kind of Beatlesque climax of taking harmony guitars and building up. I, I love that White Snake has the potential of being an orchestra. I don't have two guitarists just because I like, you know, paying a lot of money to two guys. Or, but to me, uh, Joel and, and Reb have really worked incredibly well on the, t- the harmony guitar work on this record and, and, and really ex- exemplified in... Uh, in um, the outro of Holy Man. But I got to tell you, uh, when I first (laughs) played the basic idea to, I think it was John and Ian, um, and I came to the chorus, I go, and and both John and Ian said, you're never going to get Richie to play that, ever. He's never going to play that. And he never went, he never, (laughs) he just played it. And, of course, beautifully, and I was sitting with him, um, as usual, um, very much uh, mentor and disciple. I was sitting with him when he did uh, the solo and all the intro uh, guitar fills, which he plays with a battery, probably an ever-ready battery, you know. He just picked up and tried it out. And once again, it, it's, it stood the test of time, melodically, emotionally, a perfect uh, reflection of the song. And I, I hope people like it. It's, it's our version of a Deep Purple song with, that I didn't sing, but I, I wrote a lot of it back in the day.